Welcome back, Parasites. So today, we're going to talk a little bit more about independence. We got to see a little bit of that on the last topic that we spoke about. When we were doing the red hair and the green eyes, we were able to tell whether they were going to be dependent or independent. Now we're just going to make kind of like a rule. In that last packet, you did get to see that formula. Now we're just going to solidify this. So, the definition of independent events. It's when two events, A and B, are defined to be independent if the probability of A given B is the same probability of A. So in the example with the red hair and the green eyes, if we would have gotten the same probability, like 20% and 20%, then they would have been independent because clearly it did nothing to the percentage, to the my probability. So, all right, so now we're going to do an example. A survey of 57 sixth graders was done to determine which subject was their favorite. The results are shown in the table below, sorted by gender. So you have your math, English, social studies, science, and the total. And then you have your female, your male, and the total. Does it appear, based on the data, and this is very important, you need to base it off of what they gave you, not what you think might be the answer. Based on the data in this table, that they prefer... That their preference for math as a favorite subject has dependence on a student's gender. So, and then it says show the analysis and explain your findings. So, I have to check if me liking math depends on my gender. So, I have to find both probabilities. So, the probability of me liking math is the amount of math over my sample space. So in this case, my total of math, I have 18. And my sample space is every single thing. So in this case, 57. All right, and I'll put that in a decimal in a bit. Now, the other thing that we have to find is the probability of me liking math, given that I'm some gender. So does it really matter which one I pick, female or male? No, it doesn't matter. Either way, there's, there's the gender, so you can pick whichever you want. So in this case, I'm going to go with female because, you know, females are the best. So um, for this one, I'm going to look for the amount of math and females over the amount of females. So math and females, that's eight. That's my intersection. And then my sample space for my females is the amount of females that I have. So that's 30. Okay. Now, so now let's actually find that in decimal so we can give some type of answer. All right. So calculator. So 18 divided by 57 gives me a point 32. So like a 32%. And then a divided by 30 gives me a 0.27. So it gives me like a 27%. So notice how these are not equal. So they're definitely not independent. Because if they were independent, they would have equaled each other. So because they, they didn't. These events are not independent all right that's it